just pulled a, a wild oat plant here and it's always good to know just what stage it's at. Um, it's not that we want to mind it or, or, or keep them for the next generation, but one of the, the tricks always for those people who, who would think of roguing would be to know at what stage a plant would be capable of reproducing. So just a, a single spikelet again, probably containing two grains. Just take off the, the looms off the outside just to expose the grains. So there's your grains. There's going to be three in it. Wild oat seeds have awns on them. You can see it there. See a second one there and there's a third one just in the middle. Um, awns of wild oats have a particular characteristic. They're, they're known as a genticulate awn. And genticulate comes from the same word as genuflect, which means they can bend. And the awn can actually bend right there at that point. So that after harvest, with wetting and drying on the surface, that awn can bend from being vertical to bending and kicking back in and out to effectively propel the seed, move the seed on the surface of the ground if necessary until it falls down into a crack to make it safe for the future. So just that little comment about that. But just to se segregate the seeds then for, for a second, I'm just going to cast those away and already if it's showing what I was looking for. So this was the biggest seed, just going to break off the awn. Like, like an ordinary oat, the husk is on the outside and the uh, kernel is on the inside. And the kernel, of course, is the energy of the seed, for the seed, for the future. There's the kernel exposed. We'll just whip it out of there for now. And that's your kernel. Once your kernel is at the point of having milk in it, basically that means there's dry matter or the potential for starch in the seed. And you'd always check that just by squeezing it. Squeezing it between two nails, like so. And if you're getting milk or cheese coming out, that seed is potentially viable. So that's the kind of a seed, if the seed gets to that stage, I, if you were roguing wild oats, I wouldn't be leaving the seeds behind me. If there was only milk or water in them, particularly water, then frequently what I would do would be to make sure by cutting off or pulling off the stems, if, they, if there wasn't milk in them, that I was getting them earlier than now. And you can see the physical size of the head that's on that. And with three grains per spikelet, there's a lot of grains. There's 200 plus grains on that head as it stands. But if, there was, if it was water or no water at all coming from them, then you can relatively safely take them, cut them off, pull them off, but don't drop them with the stems on them because it's a wiry old plant and it's probably going to be able to use the reserves that are in the plant and the seeds to make sure that the seeds keep on filling if they've started to fill at all. So that's just a trick to be able to use if they're, if they're not far enough, just pull them off and leave them, leave them there. Pull the whole plant by all means, but then pull the heads off so that those seeds can't fill.